All right, so I think we're ready to get started. If anybody else comes, you can just let them in when they come. But so my name is Safia Bompri. I'm a junior in the Husky Robotics team, and I'll be moderating this session today. Your presenter for today is Lulu. Um, she's also on the Husky Robotics team. She's a sophomore. We are both very excited to bring you the Introduction to Core Values presentation. Um, from Husky Robotics. And before we begin this presentation, I wanted to introduce myself and my co-host. So like I said, I'm a junior. Um, I was in FLL for four years back when I was in elementary school and middle school. So I just overall really love robotics. Um, so really quickly, I'm just gonna go over how this presentation will continue. I've muted you all for now, but as the meeting goes on and you think of questions, please select the raise hand function located by clicking on participants and once I've called on you, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. We strongly encourage you all to ask questions in the chat if that is more convenient so we can keep track of asked questions. Lulu or myself may ask questions for you guys and you can all respond by either typing in the chat using the symbols in the chat or using the reaction features on the bottom bar. Please use the chat and the reactions features appropriately. I would also like to let you all know that these presentations are being recorded. Now that we got that out of the way, I will let Lulu introduce and set herself off. Hi, as Safi already said, my name is Lulu and I'm gonna be talking about the core value. So if we don't already know, values are morals and principles that are very important. Everyone has different values, but for first, there are six core values which are really important. Discovery, which is exploring new skills and ideas. Innovation, which is thinking creatively and persisting to solve problems. Impact, which is taking what you learn and using it to make the world a better place. Inclusion, which is acting respectfully and embracing everyone's differences. Teamwork, showing that everyone on your team help, helped out throughout your entire journey. And lastly, having fun, which is just enjoying and celebrating everything that you achieve. So first core values are used to express the first philosophies of pro gracious professionalism and cooperation. This short video will help explain what gracious professionalism is. Gracious professionalism can be hard to define, but it's essential to talk about and think about with your team and in your community. The ideals of gracious professionalism tie education to success. According to Woody Flowers, one of the main strengths of gracious professionalism is its dual modality. Gracious is mostly about feelings, both yours and those of others. Professionalism is mostly about knowledge and its application for good. Combining the two is important. So learn everything you can and experience helping others as often as you can. Being an effective contributor is a huge part of feeling good about yourself. Rational self-esteem is a big deal, and it is a likely outcome from practicing gracious professionalism while busting your chops in first. So go forward and represent the best of yourself in first. So basically, gracious professionalism is a way of doing things that encourages high quality work and, and emphasizes the values of others and respects individual and the community. So these core values will develop important skills that you can use throughout your entire life, making you a better leader and communicator. Building your leadership skills, these core values will make you think creatively, motivate and inspire other people, as well as becoming better at facilitating discussions, being more responsible, delegating jobs, and a better problem solver. The core values will make you a better communicator by improving your collaboration and teamwork skills, building your confidence, becoming a better listener and a more open-minded person. Overall, implementing these values within your team will improve your efficiency and make working together easier and more fun. There are many ways to implement the core values on your team. You can play get to know you activities or icebreaker activities to get to learn more about each other, designate team leads, set team goals, reflect on team accomplishments and failures, recognize individual accomplishments, practice working in pairs or small groups, 
and practice decision making based on merit. So here I put an example of a team building game that would promote the core values on your team. So the first activity I have down is two truths and a lie. If you've never played two truths and a lie, each member of your team takes turns to introduce themselves by stating two truthful things about themselves and then one thing that they made up about themselves. And the rest of the members of the group will have to decide which statement they think is a lie and then which of the other two they think is truthful. And this game is a fun way to learn more things about the people on your team. Another activity that I put down was the toothpicks and marshmallows tower challenge. You can divide your team into groups of three, four, or five people, and then give each group 20 marshmallows and 25 toothpicks. Using only the material given, you have, to, you have five minutes to try to build the tallest freestanding tower you possibly can. The team with the tallest tower will win. This challenge is great for team building because it teaches teamwork and creative thinking. The last team building activity I put down was Desert Island. Basically, you imagine that you're stranded in a desert island and you have to think of three things that you can bring and what they would be. Each member can answer this question and you can change the question to be what three books you would bring, what movies you would bring, etc. This game is a great way to learn things about your teammates and what they enjoy and things that they care about. So the purpose of these activities and team bonding is to ensure that everyone is having fun. Strong teams have fun seasons. Make your team unique. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It should just reflect your team and the things that you like. So you can pick a funny name, design a team mascot to put on t-shirts, have nicknames for each other, etc. Try to do a few things related to competition or that aren't related to competition just for fun so you can make some great memories because that's what FIRST is all about. Here I've listed a few good habits that should be carried out by the members of your team to ensure that the core values are being applied. This list includes sharing ideas, actively listening to each other's ideas, offering suggestions and constructive feedback, communicating clearly, resolving conflicts, staying organized, taking responsible risks, and learning from each other. Some ways to do well at core values at first are to ensure that core values are made a priority. It is also important to learn about the strengths of your team members so that you're able to use and appreciate everyone's talent. Practicing listening and speaking skills as well as building trust and reflecting on personal growth are also key components on how to do well at core values. Since there will be no core values activities at competition, be sure to incorporate these core values into your two other presentation videos that your team makes. Make sure to reflect all of these values at all times, especially when recording the judging video, to clearly show the judges that your team has spirit and the core values when submitting a video of the team's introduction. Just make sure that, that video is unique and fun. So thank you for listening. And if anyone has questions, I can answer those now. All right, Evan has a question. So if he can unmute himself and ask. Um, how many, um, do you get scored on core values? Um, you will not be submitting a core values presentation at all. Um, but you you will be scored on core values per se in a robot or your um, video submission and your project presentation. So when you submit those later in the season with your videos, you have to incorporate core values into those videos as well. So work well, you have to show how you work well with your team while presenting project or your robot. Okay. Any other questions? Um, 
I have a question. Um, I know many people usually think that like core values is not as important, but could you like explain why it is just as important as robot and project? Yeah, so core values are really important because um, first is a lot more than just building robots. It's supposed to teach you things that you can carry on into other things, other parts of your life, other aspects. So if you go throughout your first season using these core values, you'll have a lot more fun and you'll just take a lot more from the experience than if you didn't have your core values. All right, any, any other questions from any of our guests? Okay, so if nobody else has questions, thank you all for coming. I know Lulu enjoyed talking to you and I enjoyed moderating for you, but that's the end of our session today. So you all can leave um, whenever you want to. Bye guys.